Hi guys, this is Denise with Simply Love Soaps and today we are going to be making some candles. We're going to be using A Thousand Wishes by Bath & Body Works Type. This fragrance oil has come from Be Scented, which is one of my favorite uh, suppliers that I order from. And um, we're going to make some wishes. This Fragrance is actually one of my biggest sellers in my room and linen spray. It's the first time I've used it in a candle, so I'm looking forward on trying this out and see how well this does. Um, so we're going to make five candles in it. We are making soy wax candles. I'm just measuring out or pouring out my hot wax. I do use a Presto Pot when I do candles and when I do uh, melt wax or tart wax. And I am almost there. I'm getting better at getting my new measurements right. So we have my hot wax I'm trying to push it in hopefully you guys can see this a little bit I'm going to be using the new liquid colors that I've gotten from be scented I'm going to do like a greenish blue color these liquid colors I have fallen in love with before I used to use the block colors and I'm telling you guys these new color or liquid colors when I upgraded has been awesome so I'm putting six drops of the green. Then I'm going to put three drops of the blue. Then I'm going to start to see how I like it, whether or not I'm going to add any other color to it. Color is going to be perfect. Okay, so let me move the colorant out of the way. I'm gonna let this cool down until I'm ready to pour it in my fragrance. Sorry for the noise, but when stirring metal with metal, <laughs> you know, it gets a little noisy. I wanted to let you guys know I recently, just this past weekend, had my first fall festival. It was a blast. I had a really good time. And um, I'm excited to do it again. So I'm going to be looking around for a couple of local festivals that I may be able to do next year. And um, I'm excited about it. Now, with my candles, I do pour at a higher tint, and I mix my fragrance in at a little bit of higher tint. Um, I used to do it one other way, and I just did not get the um, as good as as good of a batch, I guess. And um, I went and watched. Went and enrolled in Jen's Woodwick um, candle class at Be Scented, and I like the method that she uses better. I like the higher tints also. I just seem to have a better hot throw scent afterwards, um, and it's just yeah i'm just really liking the new method now one of the differences is in the size of my batching um my batching is a little bit larger that's why i was having an issue with trying to get you know the right amount of hot wax <laughs> for the recipe without having to go back and forth the pouring or you know adding a little more or subtracting a little more but i am really liking this I normally use um, a Presto Pot for my hot wax, 
which I tend to like the Presta Pot a lot better than going back and forth to the stove. It just seems to make the uh, downtime in between batches to go a lot faster. And I'm all for time saving. I'm just waiting for this to cool down just a little bit. So I'm just going to keep stirring and stirring. The stirring helps cools down your wax just a little bit faster. I am looking for, I used a different hot glue this time and I've seen in my other batch, I've seen some um, hot glue strings. So I was just checking to make sure I didn't have any loose hot glue strings. This is an awesome fragrance. And now we're just stirring to cool it down a little bit. It may not be taking forever for you guys, but it seems like it's, you know, I'm an impatient type. <laughs> I guess that's why I like the Presto Pot better and why I like um, the Woodwicks better. But I do like pouring at a higher temp. Um, I just like the way the fragrance oil binds with the wax better. And um, after a few weeks, you know, my hot throw scent is so much better. that color is. I'm liking the liquid wax or the liquid color better um, for my candles simply because it's easier for me to get a consistent color scheme. So if I decide in a couple of weeks to add a few more candles to this batch, then, you know, I can match up the color just the same. Beautiful color. Let's check this tint. It's almost there. Sorry, you know it's loud and noisy. I'm just trying to get this mixed in quick. Get this tent down. There we go. Just that quick. So I'm adding in my fragrance oil. Oh, that smells so good. Gonna stir this until it's bound. You can tell one by its color and two by the scent, but usually there's a color change that indicates where the um, the fragrance oil and the soy wax has bound together. That and the scent is phenomenal. Usually it does not take me this long to pull it down because I'm usually vigorously turning, stirring it like this. But I was trying to keep the noise down for the video purposes, but it's almost there. I'm 
almost ready to pour. guys all right and we are at pour let's see what I can do I hope you guys can see this okay look at that beautiful color Sorry, just concentrating on the pour. I'm gonna just kind of squat down and see where it needs a little extra. And there we go. Now once they set a little bit, I am going to put a little bit of iridescent glitter on top. That way I can turn around and keep the, um, the glitter from separating because if you apply the glitter on top while it's too hot, then it, it's just gonna, you know, it'll spray on there and then it's gonna disperse out and have little holes where you want all your glitter. So guys, thank you so much for watching the making of these candles. Once again, I used A Thousand Wishes, which is a Bath & Body Works dupe. And thank you so much. God bless.